Good morning, it's me again, me and my purpley Teletubby outfit. I'm Marina and I'm 60 and I live in Sweden. I'm sorry for you having to see me in this <laughs> hideous outfit every day, or every video I should say, but it's really cozy, it goes down to my feet, it's cold down here in my basement and I'm tired and it's morning and I want to be cozy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is my Throwback Thursday video and today I'm using the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty because it matches my nails <laughs> somewhat. It looks like this. This is a bit neutrally for me but when you swatch all of these shimmers that is in here they are so gorgeous. That one is really pretty too. It's a shimmer, but mm, it's kind of a purpley one. And I'm just sad that the darkest one is a brown, which could have been a really dark purple or something. But hey ho, it's a pretty palette, but it's not one, even though the shimmers are amazing. Um, I haven't used this one a lot. Few two three times maybe um i bought it because i got a gift card at sephora some years ago two three years ago i don't remember no yeah i got it for christmas and i couldn't find anything at sephora that i wanted and i have been uh drawn to this palette and i think it was the natasha denona mm, i don't remember the name of it but it has somewhat similar colors I, if I don't remember it wrong, and I kind of regret not buying the other one. But hey ho, here it is. And I was debating with myself if I should do a smoky eye using that one all over my lid because it is a stunning color. Uh, or if I should do just a regular me look that I always do because then I can use some of these pretty, that one, it's, they're really shifty, that one and that one. and. And that one but I want to do something different than I normally do I always do my I call them my me, me looks <laughs> um, so I will do a smoky eye um, I don't know and it also it is um, this might be the last video I will do, or the last look, even for Insta or anything, I will do in a couple of weeks. Because something is happening that I was not expecting to happen. I need to get going. I'm on my way to work and now I'm late, as per usual. Uh, we will start with... <coughs> Um, <laughs> I will take that one. Uh, yeah, as it happens, on Thursday afternoon, I will get eyelid surgery done. And it just, it happened just like it was not planned, it was not something I was predicting gonna happen. It's something I've been dreaming of doing for years. I have a lot of extra skin, as you can see. If I relax my head, look at my eyes. I basically have two eyelids, one on top of the other. So I'm constantly like this. <laughs> um. And I have a friend who works in a clinic. They do, uh, what do you say, laser to your eyes if you want to do surgery to your eyes to uh, not need, not. If you don't want to wear glasses, they do eyelid, eye surgery, you know, eye laser to your eyes so that you can be, don't have to, to use, uh, glasses and I thought that that was the only thing they were doing 
I actually applied for a job there and had um, I, I actually been to an interview twice this was some years ago but then COVID happened and they decided not to hire anyone and this is thanks to this woman that I know that I've been working with both at Specsavers where I used to work and also the it's called Sin Sam where I'm working now it's an optician and we she was the one calling me when I was working at Specsavers saying hey do you want to change workplace do you want to come and work with us so I did so now I've been six and a half years where I am now but she uh, quit like we worked together for a couple of years, I think. I don't remember. Um, anyhow, and now she's the boss of that clinic. And they have started to do like ordinary eye exams, like an optician does. They're having opticians. And they also do eyelid surgery. And they only do eyelid surgery for, you know, if your eyelid is hanging down so much that it covers your eyesight uh, I don't have that problem uh, it doesn't cover my eyesight as you can see but there are some people who have that problem that it actually covers your pupil so you can't see properly morning coffee um, yeah so they, they have expanded, expanded there um, English is not my mother tongue. I don't know what you call it, but they didn't used to do that, but they do now. And I didn't know that. And by coincidence, me and another colleague, colleague that also worked with her went to have a coffee just like a month ago uh, to catch up and talk. And we were good friends at work. And, you know, um, I will also... Mm -mm -mm. My, sorry. Um, take the same color under my eyes. Um, so when we're talking and suddenly she started to tell us about this at her job and I said, oh my gosh, that is something I always wanted to do, but I can't afford it. I can fix it for you, she said. And I like, I can't afford it. In Sweden, there's somewhere around like, somewhere around like 35 to 50,000 crowns to do this. And that's like, say, 4,000, $5,000 to have it fixed privately, I think, if I'm not counting wrong. Um, uh, like so, I will also take the, hang on, where is my brush, I will take a darker shade and there's, um, oh did I say, the, the one that I took on my eyes now is called Serenity and I will go in with that one called Mantra, Mantra, I don't know, Mantra in Swedish. Um, well, it will cost you like $26. And I said, what? Can't be possible. Yeah, it's a regular, what you pay when you go and see the doctor. And she said, I can fix it for you. And I said, oh, this is too good to be true. I've been dreaming of doing it with for years. And never thought I will ever be able to. Because I don't have that kind of money. And if I had them, that's not what I need to spend them on. Um, yeah, so she set me up with an appointment for an appointment with the eye doctor and surgeon. Surgeon, do you say surgeon? And um, I met her, it was a woman, uh, yesterday afternoon, and they set me up for surgery. And I'm not going to pay anything. And it's like stuff like this doesn't happen to me. I can't still believe it and 
the surgery is this Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the 19th. I'm gonna do it on Thursday afternoon. And I'm like, stuff does li like this does not happen to me. I'm, I'm, yeah. And I'm so happy. But I won't be able to wear makeup for at least a couple of week of weeks after that. I won't be on sick leave because you can go to, to work the day after, but I will look like shit. <laughs> and I don't care. Uh, I must say these shadows work really good. They kind of just blend themselves together. And I'm in a hurry. Okay. Yeah, so... I might pre-film, I have tomorrow that I can pre-film the next week's Throwback Thursday, maybe, or film something else. And then I can film my, um, if you can stand watching me with my bruised eyes and swollen eyes and stitches and stuff, and without makeup, I can go on filming my uh, eyeshadow palette collection that I've started to film. Um, of course, I can only do that in the week. I never film at night because I'm too tired when I get back home and I get home late every day. So, but I can do it on the weekends. <coughs> um, yeah, so I will go in with the shimmer that I think is so stunning. What, where is my brushes? Um, and it's called Empowered. I will blind you, I'll keep it upside down. That one. Uh, so I was actually thinking of doing this one to two looks video, but I think it's better that I use the time I have left to be able to film looks with filming the next week's Throwback Thursday. We'll see what I do. You will notice. So, going in with the Empowered. <coughs> so, I'm really, really happy. I have been wanting to do this forever. Ever since my skin started to be really saggy. I don't remember when that happened because it's a slow process, of course. And, yeah. I love this purply smoky eye, like a, not purple purple, but grayish purple. Okay, so I can't wait until Thursday. And I have a lot of fallout. Yeah, so there will be a couple of weeks at work with no makeup, bruised eyes, swollen eyes. <laughs> um, you can work after doing this, but some people will be on sick leave only for the aesthetic reason that you look terrible but I don't care about that um, so I will be at work still if nothing happens I don't know but I don't hope so I wish they can do something about my under eye bags as well <laughs> But I don't want to push my luck. Uh, yeah, okay. So I will fix the rest. And I'll come back to you. See you in a bit. Okay, so I am done. And I also forgot in the beginning that I want to thank you. Thank Erica, Erica Conger, for being my inspiration for doing this series. And she got it from Jan Van. And now there's also Gloria. 
I will of course as per usual link the ladies down below please go and watch them so I've been using the rose quartz palette from Huda Beauty uh, it's a gorgeous palette even though when I open it up it, it was, oh, it's neutral but then when I start to use them they are really pretty because the shimmers in here are amazing so I've been using that one let's see uh, I will blind you because it doesn't fold back this lid that one that one that one and as an inner corner highlight I took which one did I take? That one, I think. Moon Magic. Really gorgeous. So, that's it for the shadows. Uh, I did put an eyeliner on, but I didn't do a wing. I just pressed it along the lash line, and I did that with my Fluid Line Black Track from MAC. Base for the shadows, as always. I'm trying to use this one up, because... It's starting to get old, but it's the best primer I have ever tried, and I have a new one a backup, so I won't use this one because before it gets too old. My mascara from Banger Mascara from Makeup Mecca, and my brows, as always, deep brow pomade. I have mine in ash brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And my face as a base, I use the Concisious Vegan Face Primer from. Kiko Milano, gifted to me by Steph. My base is the Velvet Radiance Face Base from Me Cosmetics. And this was also gifted to me from the brand. Stuff that like that don't happen to me. <laughs> and my bronzer and my highlight is from the Jungle Book Face Palette from Catrice. Um, yeah, and I've used the bronzer, let's see, the brightest one. Oh my gosh, I'll take that off. No, I won't. <laughs> uh, sparing Partners, that one. And I use that one as my highlight. It's called Tiger by the Tail. So that's it. And my blush, my powder, I forgot the powder, Derma Blend fixing powder from setting powder from Vichy and a really old blush a mineralized blush in gentle from MAC looks like this my lippy is an old one that I used a lot uh, Viva La Diva Swedish brand Mauve Me Matte from Viva La Diva <laughs> as you can see I'm halfway through I, when I come to the lippy every day, I'm always short of time, so I just grab something. I have like 300 lipsticks, and I could really find one that suits better, but there's never time. So I just grab what's closest, or what I quickly can think of. Goes with the look. Yeah, so that's it. Mm. Smoky eye. We will see how it goes. If I might pre-film next week's Throwback Thursday tomorrow, you will notice that next Thursday. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see what I'll do or I'll just film something else. Because as I said, uh, after today, after tomorrow, there will be no makeup in like a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, w watching, <laughs> watching, I'm going to rush off for work. Uh, please take care and be careful out there. Till I see you the next time. Bye bye.